one and we are back play let's take the elevator you push your hand against the elevator door but it does no good there is no buttons nearby to push feels like a clock got grumbles is that like a bin thing yes have a look at the bin no all right well since the staircase is presently being renovated you aren't able to use it besides you know how much you hate climbing stairs and heels well woman stop wearing the heels feels like a plant feels you should just take off her shoes seriously and her dress while she's at it Talking to him works. Yes. You need something. Excuse me. I'm here to see Mr. Bias in room 900. Huh? Alright. Just give me a second to make sure he's in. Hey, dude, are you in? I got the munchies. Okay, honey. He's waiting for you upstairs. I'm calling the elevator for you right now. I've gone to sleep. There you go, Betty. I didn't catch your name, but I'm calling you Betty. In my dreams, you're called Betty. No. <laughs> oh, awesome, we have arrived, so we should save just in case, you know, anything untoward happens. Let's have a little look around his office. This sculpture represents the patron saint of recording companies, Saint Needle. Oh. This transducer converts electrical waves into rapidly pulsating sound waves. This waiting room is filled with an impressive array of recording memorabilia. The office shelves are filled with record tapes and books. This is your man. Mr. Reverse Baez, Chief Engineer of Des River Records, and the man you've been set to investigate. A speaker crackles in the background. Ah, you can do, Mr. Vert Baez. Oh, am I doing Reverse Baez? Okay. Yeah. Hello out there. You must be passionate, Patty. Everything's all ready for your cutting session. Just come on into the studio. I'm waiting for you. I bet you're waiting for me. Um, how, how do I get around your crazy office? Uh, I think you want to take that, uh, that gold record as well. Oh. Maybe, or do you have to do that afterwards? There you go. Wrigley, the golden, the gold record of its class, you remember it's loose enough to be removed. So you do. You've wanted to have a gold record ever since you began playing professional at age 13. But you never dreamed you'd get it like this. Keep going, Patty. I never dreamed I'd get it like this. <laughs> uh, there we go. Des River Records recording studio reminds me of, of your old last studio session. A big two CD recording of background music for the computer game Leisure Suit Larry 4. And that big contract you signed with mysterious someone only known as Julius, who never paid you one red cent for any of your work. You grimace and silently hope this session goes better. What? Why, hello there, Patty. I'm Reverse Baez, chief engineer here at Des River Records. I'm not sure exactly what happened to my regular synthesis, but I sure appreciate you jumping in here to help us out like this. I'm sure you'll have no trouble with these tunes. I never have trouble with any tunes. I have a head shaped like a tiki mask. <laughs> he does. The synth is programmed, the charts, music stand, the levels are checked, and I'm ready when you are, baby. I'm ready all the time. 
I'm pretty for you. Okay, Daddy, just read the chart there on the stand. We'll take it from a few bars before your entrance. Listen for the clicks, then cut in your solo. Take one. Take two. Take one. I have no idea if I'm actually supposed to be reading this music. Um, yeah, that could be a little bit, uh, uh trying to play it with that mouse cursor could be a little bit challenging. Patty just doing a thing. Oh. Did he like that? I don't know. It just popped up and disappeared. Oh. Apparently not. Take two. Oh. What? The first take was perfect. We don't need a second take. I know, like, seriously. mouse cursors to play this part properly? Yeah. For ten mice, you'd need ten hands, each of them controlling an individual mouse that you would use to move onto the properties. Like it? Let's see what does he say. What does he say? Well, that's silly outside. Let's give it one more shot, babe. Here we go. What? Is it a good thing if it's outside? Take three. I think he means. I think he means outside is in outside the scope of what they were looking for. Oh, she's taking it. All of a sudden, her playing got way better. <laughs> hey! <laughs> just because I was playing little bits and pieces of other songs I know, and then just random bits in between. <laughs> I'm not sure why he didn't like that. He should have taken that. No, no. I gave him such Broadway hits as, uh... Why would a fellow want a girl like that? And, um... Once upon a December, come on. I mean, that's classy. But he is not. He did not recognize it. No, I suppose not. I should learn this song on my stylophone. <laughs> that would be pretty awesome, actually, yeah. Yeah. You should. You should make a video of, of you playing that. <laughs> Great, Teddy hey, Patty. Why don't you come into the control room now and listen to the playback with me? <laughs> oh, yeah, sure. Well, I don't know. Sure, I'll, I'll come. Uh, uh. Uh, in more ways than one, perhaps? Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, it's just way too easy to abuse that pun. It's way too easy to abuse anything in this game. Here you go, babe. Check this out. Nice playing, Patty. I bet you have wonderful technique. I have lots of techniques.
Oh, we're out of time, actually. So, I'm going to pause it here, and we will come back with uh, Revised Baez and Patty. Mm, yeah.